Recently in the Boruto manga, the fight against Ishiki Otsutsuki introduced to us a new Naruto form called Baryon Mode. This power utilised the utmost maximum capabilities of a tailed beast and its Jinchuriki by consuming the two's chakra together to create an energy capable of shortening an opponent's lifespan at a mere touch at the cost of their own two. It's basically one final god mode which ends in the death for the user, aka the Jinchuriki. According to Kurama, that is anyway. Yo what's going on Senpai Squad, welcome back to a brand new video and today I want to discuss the possibility, the theory, that Kurama is no more. Fans have been led to believe, especially after the most recent chapter when Sasuke looks down at Naruto's lifeless body in shock, that Naruto is indeed dead. But fear not, I'm here to tell you once again that that is not the case. You can all come back to this video if you want and have a laugh at me in a few months time if I'm wrong, but I feel confident in saying that Naruto is not dead. And the reason as to why Sasuke was shocked when he looked at Naruto was because he could no longer sense Kurama. Yes, that's right, I firmly believe that Kurama is actually the one who dies from this new mode and not Naruto. I want to start this theory off by rewinding back to chapter 51, right when Kurama tells Naruto in the first place about his plan to defeat Ishiki. He says to Naruto that you'll die, not will die like he does then in the next chapter in chapter 52, meaning he originally hid the fact that he would also die from Naruto and just accidentally let it slip maybe? Listen, okay, this could be interpreted in a thousand different ways and I am by no means basing the entire conclusion of my theory based off this one little potential slip up from Kurama. But it does still fit into my theory that Kurama lied and hid the truth from Naruto. Yep, you heard me, that's right. I think that Kurama lied to Naruto because just, just think about it, right? If Kurama had said to Naruto, or anyone in that case had said to Naruto, use this new power and I will die, Naruto would have pondered. Like, how many people has Naruto willingly let die? He wouldn't be prepared to commit to such a sacrifice on the spot because of how selfless he is. And in this fight versus Ishiki, they just simply could not afford to waste any time for that. But if Kurama said to Naruto that Naruto would be the one dying, he knows because of how selfless Naruto is, he would have used the mode to save his village without a second thought. So, in conclusion, Kurama lied to save Naruto, which to me is a beautiful way to end off the demon fox of the hidden leaf, having it come full circle. Kurama was the one originally responsible for the death of Naruto's parents and the destruction of the leaf all those years ago, but now he's the one helping save Naruto and in turn his son and the rest of the village from trying to kill Naruto to sacrificing himself for him. It's a beautiful turnaround and is some glorious character development for a character who, in my honest opinion, considering he was part of the main character's body, he was quite often cast aside. Obviously we'd always hear about Kurama, but it was on very rare occasions we felt like we were actually getting to know Kurama. Now, obviously, Kurama isn't dead dead. He's a tailed beast at the end of the day. Technically, he's not even a creature or a living being and he can't physically die and cease to exist like that. He's just a big boatload of powerful chakra from the Sage of Six Paths, which is sort of takes on the shape of a fox. But I do want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think it's likely that Kurama will be the one to actually die from this buy-on mode? 
Or do you maybe still think it's Naruto? Or maybe Kuruma was right when he said we'll die and it will be both him and Naruto that die too. Listen, whether or not Kuruma does die, okay, I'm 110% certain Naruto will not die yet because he's not even met Kashi and Koji yet. And I have such faith that they would execute the meeting between Naruto, the former student of Jiraiya, and Kashin Koji, the clone made from Jiraiya. I, I have such faith that Kishimoto would nail that meeting. And it would be such a powerful bit of storytelling to get those two meet up and to explore the morales behind creating a clone out of a, a dead, deceased loved one. But leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not already to become a member of the Senpai Squad, we'll have more Boruto content coming your way very very soon, but as always, until then, peace.